Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Rick Van Ness Show. Finally did it guys, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm finally done after two weeks of working on this so hard. Um, if you guys haven't seen one of my other episodes, we, me and my son made a claw machine out of hydraulic pumps, which were syringes and air tubes. Um, I thought I would take that a little bit further and make a claw machine. I'm obsessed with the claw machine. I love the claw machine. I love playing the claw machine and I thought, why not make a claw machine with cardboard and a hydraulic system the exact same way I did the little claw? Well, um, I did. <laughs> I finally did and I finally finished it and it works guys. And now I'm going to show it off to you guys. So here it is guys. You see the syringes using it as a hydraulic system with the air tubes. They're filled with water in it. So let me explain it to you guys before I use it. Um, each syringe uh, powers one of these uh, little springs. So when this closes, it springs this open and it moves the claw that way. So it'll be um, right and left. Once this pumps up with water, it'll show this will move this way and this way. So back and forth, but if you're in front of the machine, it's left to right. And so this one right here, this syringe will power the claw forward and backward. So once this syringe pumps up with water, it'll push the claw this way and it'll push the claw back that way. Then I have another syringe here, which moves the claw down and up. And then last but not least, I have this syringe here, which will power the claw to open and close so there it is guys finally after two weeks of building this thing getting everything done together i finally built it and here are the switches this switch um opens the claw and closes the claw as you can tell this little lever opens it so once i pull the lever the water goes through there sucks up the water off the syringe making this claw close and it works like that so open and I'll pull it back it closes it opens it closes so all those tubes are all running through the back through here and they all go through the back filled with water and then and I'm running out through the bottom and they're all connected to this other tube this other syringe that's in here which would be these syringes so they're all connected each one obviously does something and then I build this out of complete cardboard it's just a big old box I cut off the sides and then I cut off a middle for the pry so I still gonna build something here guys to move all these wires out the way and uh, once the price falls into here there'll be a little box here where you could receive the price but that'll be in a later thing i do have to have i do have to do a little bit uh tweaking here and there guys because this doesn't go all the way up as i wanted to i want the cloth to go all the way to the top and all the way to the, well it does go all the way to the bottom it just doesn't go all the way to the top that's as far as it goes so I will be doing some minor tweaks, some minor changes. The way I made the claw suspend off of the ear was simple um, skewers, sticks that I use here, connected it there. And um, I will be doing a video guys of step by step on how to do this. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and put your notifications on. That way you, be, you will be notified as soon as I make the video. I already shot the video of how to make it. I was, I was filming while I was building the whole thing. I just had to edit it. There's a lot of footage behind it. There's a lot of work behind it. And I still have to edit it. So make sure you guys subscribe and you guys put your notifications on. If you want to be notified as soon as I make that video. Or finish, as soon as I finish editing that video. Anyways, onto the claw machine. So that's how it works, guys. It's a little messy right here. I am gonna put a top to it that will cover all this work. But 
for now I just wanted to show it off that's why I didn't put a cover to it like I said I will be doing some tweaks here and there but for most for the most part it works pretty great let's try it out guys and see how it all works out so like I said this one opens the claw and then this one move it to the left and then this one will move it oh I don't want to move it down yet. I want to move it forward first. So let's move the claw forward first. So you guys can see it's moving forward. And then I want what should I get? Uh, maybe this little monkey I could grab. So let's do that little monkey. So uh back up I do have to I one thing that I do have to do is color coordinate these things um, on my last video if you guys see me do the claw thing they're all color coordinated uh, big shout out to the person that did it I'm not sure who it is I saw it on uh, I saw a video on Facebook of the claw machine the hydraulic claw machine so big shout out to you thank you so much for your video that inspired me to do, to create this thing so um if you guys know who he is make sure you guys leave a comment down below so everybody knows who it is um when i'm editing this video i might leave, put it at the end of the video so you guys know who it is i'll research him and i'll put it at the end of the video that way you guys know who he is and i'll put a link down to his channel and to that video where you guys can see where i got the inspiration from anyways with that being said let's go right into this thing so um I want the claw to go down. Push this lever. I wonder if I'm gonna get that monkey. Close the claw. Nope, I'm not gonna get the monkey. <laughs> Let's push this back up. So let's pull that little monkey. For the sake of the video, <laughs> I'm gonna get the monkey. Move a little bit, cheat a little bit. So you grab it. Hopefully it grabs it, and then you pull this sucker up, all the way up, here it goes all the way up. There we go. Go up to the side. Then we drop them in, guys. And there it is. Get the little monkey price. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm excited. <laughs> I love this thing, guys. This is awesome. Like I said, this thing doesn't retract all the way back. That's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to work on these springs. Make sure that they close completely up. Um, these are popsicle sticks, by the way. And um, these are toothpicks. That I made a hole through the popsicle stick. And I put the two... Um, sticks together so it has a little turning point right here so when you close it anyways like I said the video of how I made it will be out pretty soon uh, stay tuned for that and that's how it works guys it's a pretty cool claw machine I mean it works pretty great everything moves as it's supposed to move so so there you go that one retracts so push it back and forth. And it goes left and right. So there you go, guys. The, another thing too, I gotta work on the springs. Like I said, I want these to shut a lot more than they they are right now. So I'll work on these, and I'll make another video on how I made them or improved them, and then you guys will see that also. So, anyways. Um, Thanks again, guys, for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can get notified the next time I make the video on how I made it. If you guys are uh, curious to see how I made it. Uh, it's a lot of work, guys, so I might make a two-part video to that because I think it's hours and hours of footage. Like I said, I have to edit all those hours of footage to make it more interesting for you guys to watch. So anyways, guys, I'm excited. I made my claw machine. That's freaking awesome. 
I love the claw machine. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe. You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.